runs up to a neighbor's door. Will someone help her? Out of the darkness, this guy appears and grabs ring out as the struggle goes on. Then the guy delivers. Shalom, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai. Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai. Brakatha Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Ha, Rachachradash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite faunas, and Shalom to the Akhwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother Amoth, your eyes from Yahawada. Okay, back at it again with another beautiful lesson to the power and spirit of Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Harakakradash. Okay, and uh, like I said in camp yesterday, man, I'm going to start get back on these judgment lessons, man. I had a lesson that I really think I've been holding on to for maybe about maybe two months, honestly. Uh, but this lesson, man, should let you know, man, this is going to be uh, 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 in, in the day of Jacob's trouble, in the day of uh, of everything that Yahweh Hashem is going to bring forth upon the earth, man. This is this is going to be. Hey, man, it's going to be a lot of these dudes out here with this type of mentality, man. OK, committing all these uh, uh, unrighteous acts, man, you know, which is going to be placed upon you women and you men for judgment, man. So let's go ahead and go into this article right here that I've been holding on to. Salakia, as you can see right here, it says D.A. man accused of kidnap, raping 35 uh, indictment. Uh, additional victims possible okay and this is the dude right here man okay look at this dude's face man okay this this could be a jake or this could be a terror but regardless of what he is man he's still out uh, <laughs> hey man just look at this dude's face man you can tell this dude is off man okay you can tell he's off man but let's read this article man as you can see it's in portland it says right here 35 year old man is facing a 35 count human sex trafficking indictment which includes charges of kidnap rape and sodomy <laughs> did you hear that let's read that again a 32 year old man is facing a 35 count human sex trafficking indictment uh, uh which includes uh, charges of kidnap rape and sodomy so that means he, he wasn't only <laughs> he wasn't only snatching up women he was snatching up men according to uh the whatever county it is a uh, district uh, attorney's office janelle if, if, if that's how you pronounce his name janelle johnson is facing charges of fourth degree assault two counts of compelling pr uh, uh, prostitution of uh, a felon in possession of a firearm two counts of felony strangulation uh, first degree kidnapping, three counts of first degree kidnapping with a firearm, two counts of second degree kidnapping, all these charges, man. Three counts of uh, promoting po prostitution, first degree rape, three counts of first degree rape with firearm, four counts of first degree robbery, three counts of first degree robbery with a firearm, four counts of second degree robbery of uh, First degree sexual abuse with firearm, first degree sodomy with firearm, and three counts unlawful use of a weapon. All these charges from look, all these are charges. All this right here is charges, man. All that. Look at all those charges, man. And you know Jake man in uh, in Esau's uh queendom, man. You're guilty until proven innocent. But when these cave gorillas go to uh, go to jail and go to court, they're innocent until proven guilty. You see how it is, man? It's a flip flop. So, Jake, basically, you're guilty regardless of what you do. It, it could be uh, missed payments on child support. You're guilty until you're proven innocent, man, in their eyes, man. Okay, it says right here, the investigation began in February 2021 when the Portland Police Human Trafficking Unit received information about a person later identified as Johnson using a firearm 
and knife to kidnap, rob, then sexually assault a person. Hey, this dude, look at this dude's face, man. Look at this nigga, man. Look at this nigga, man. He, he, look, he looked like he just plotting up to no good, man. Hey, man. Salakia. We're going to leave it there, man. Salakia. Um, I don't want to rock this out. I'll put this in the link, and y'all can go read this for yourself. We're going to leave it there, man. Let's go ahead and uh, get to some scriptures. All right, this is Isaiah. Because, man, I'm telling you right now, more of this stuff is going to be coming, man. Okay, yeah, how about Shimmy Osha is going to be releasing men like this on you women and you men, as you saw. Isaiah 13, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. And that word ravished means rape, man. It's just a nice way of saying it. Okay, but it still means. But it still means rape. Okay. So in, in, uh, in Jacob's trouble, when it's turned to the max, man, you woman, hey, hey, look, all that, all that uh, comfort, 1-800-come-save-me cave gorilla, aka 911, is, is going to be no more, man. Okay, you're going to be getting judged left and right, man. You ain't going to be able to walk the streets freely wearing anything that you want to wear. Okay? And Yahabah Shim Yahushah, so like Yahabah Shim Yahushah is going to be doing this. Why is that? We, we can get plenty of reasons, but let's just get one. All right, this is Romans chapter 3, verse 18. There is no fear of the Most High before their eyes. There is no fear of the Most High before their eyes. That's right, you women and you Jakes, y'all don't fear your high by Hashem, y'all shot. Y'all think it's a joke, okay? And, and, and you weak sent men, oh, the black woman is God, yada, yada, yada. And y'all got these damn women truly believing and thinking they're God, man. Okay, they think they're God, but yet they can't stop their cycle every month. Go figure. Let's keep on going. Let's go here real quick. Zephaniah, because I, I quoted, I, I said something I'm about to read without what I, what I just quote it. All right, this is Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children and, so, and all, and all such as are clothed with strange apparel so you walking around here with your butt out your boobs out showing all types of flesh okay being very promiscuous uh, uh, uh having the mind of a harlot hopping from uh rod to rod you know you how about shimmy was is gonna bring all all those everything that you've done upon your own head man you ain't gonna be able to choose which rods you're gonna hop on okay you ain't gonna be able to choose which dude you gonna uh, give it to for this for this uh, uh, duration of time that you feel that you feel the need to? Okay, y y you're gonna wish that you wasn't walking around doing what you're doing, man. In those days when your Yahweh Shem Yahushua closed the door to repentance and he and he's continually judging the earth, when all hell break loose, hey, then you're gonna want to cover up yourself. You you're gonna want to submit to a man. And furthermore, a, a man of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Let's keep on going. Because you, you, you women and you Jakes, man. Y'all, y'all, man, y'all do this constantly. Every day y'all do this, man. Every single day y'all do this scripture right here. Matthew chapter 4, verse 7. Yahweh Shah said unto him, It is written, it is written again, that thou shalt not tempt Yahweh thy power. And y'all tempt Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai every single second of the day. Y'all truly believe that the Lord is not going to punish you for what you've done and what you continue to do. Especially you women, man. You, 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 you Israelite women, man. He's going to make an example out of you women, man, because you're, you're part of the chosen seed of, of Israel, man. Okay? You're the princesses of the earth, man. You're the children of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So he's going to make a prime example out of you women, man. Just like he's going to make an example out of you Jakes, man. Period, man. Let's jump back to Zephaniah real quick. Chapter 1, because this is what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is doing right now too. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men. And women, even though it don't say women too, but it's, it's going for y'all too. And punish the men that are settled on their lees that say in their heart, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will not do good, neither will he do evil. So you really, 
you, you women and you men truly believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to punish you for your wickedness, man. You believe that that you that you have a, a get out of jail free card, man. Like no, like nothing's going to happen to you. Like the heavenly Father is not going to judge you. That you can continue to be wicked, man. <laughs> you went for a rude awakening, man. Let's go here real quick, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter sixteen, and let's read verse five. For thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go lament nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, even loving kindness and mercy. So Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is telling us, man, don't cry for these people. Don't cry for the wicked of my, of, of my, of my, of my children. Don't bemoan them. Don't lament for them. I've taken my peace away from them. I'm tired of being silent. I'm tired of letting them commit all this abomination, this filth, this wickedness before my face, man. All my loving kindness and my mercies that I have given them, time to repent and come back to me is done. It's over with. Now comes the judgment, man. Don't cry for them. Don't worry about how they're going to be punished. Worry about how the righteous, what you hope to be, to be saved, man. That's what you need to worry about. Because the two-thirds is signed and sealed. This, they, man, that judgment is going to be delivered when you, whenever Yahweh Hashem Yahweh sees fit. Now, let's keep on going. Let's close out here, matter of fact. Let's close out here. Ezekiel chapter 7, one of my favorite, favorite precepts. Let's close out here. Ezekiel chapter 7, starting off at verse 8. Now will I surely, Salakia, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 8. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee. And accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee, and I, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to bring everything back upon you, man. All your wickedness, all your abominations, all your filth, all everything that you've done back upon your own head sevenfold, man. Verse nine. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that smiteth. So get ready, man. As we always say, either repent. Come back to your heritage, to your nationality, to the true living power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and seek meekness, seek righteousness, seek salvation, seek the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Seek to please Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, or he gonna send a nigga like this after you. He gonna send a a a a a, 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 a madman like this after you that has thirty five counts of rape. And other crimes too. So take heed. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.